Hey, welcome to day one of this meditation course. I'm really excited to teach you what I've learned. My name is Liam, and I'm a forest monk, the founder of the FitMind nonprofit. I look forward to sharing what I've discovered over the travels to different countries throughout Asia and South America, as well as in the recent neuroscience literature. And this 30-day course will teach you everything that, that I would want to communicate in a month of deep meditation training. So I'm excited that you'll be joining me. The way this course is going to work is there'll be first guided meditations, about 10 minutes in length. I encourage you to sit for 30 minutes, but if you can at least make a 10 to 15 minute commitment for this month, I think you'll see tremendous benefits. And the meditation method that we'll be learning has actually been researched as the fastest neuroplastic changes in the brain. So this category of meditation, there's over 300 different meditation techniques. And this general category has been shown to create lasting trait changes in the brain after just a couple of weeks. So I think you'll have a lot of fun, you'll enjoy it, and you'll see the benefits after these 10-minute guided meditations, you can watch a short video called a lesson, and that's where I bring in the more practical aspects of how this is rewiring your brain, some of the cool studies, and how you can actually take it into your daily life. So it's not just something you do on the couch, you're actually training your mind all the time, because that's how neuroplasticity works, and that's how we can make really fast progress. So for this first guided meditation, please find a comfortable seat. We won't worry about having the perfect posture right away. What's really important is just that you find a place where you can be quiet and undisturbed, and your body feels comfortable. And ideally, your spine is upright, and that will keep you alert. And you can try to find that balance between being upright, but also relaxed. Many people find it comfortable to simply sit in a chair or on the couch. If you'd like, you can sit on the floor. But it helps to have your hips elevated above your knees. And that will... Take the pressure off your lower back. And then once you've found your posture, you can just begin to settle in, bringing your awareness inwards into your body. Letting all the muscles in your body relax. So the first step to this meditation is actually to smile. If it feels right for you, you can just put a small smile turning up the corners of your mouth. And there's been a couple of studies looking at how this impacts the mental state. I'll link to those in the resource sections below. But I encourage you to smile to make your mind light. Bring up a happy memory. This was a time when you were feeling perfectly content without any real external stimulating event. In other words, you were just happy where you are and very happy within yourself. Maybe you were out in nature, gazing out at a sunset or around family at the fire. Feeling very cared for, very Balanced, you can say in a, in a state of homeostasis.
So call to mind that memory. And then most important is see if it brings up a feeling for you, a kind of happy feeling. Even if it's very subtle, can you locate in your body that feeling of happiness from the memory? Once you have the feeling, you can actually let go of the memory itself and stay with that feeling. And the smile helps here to uplift the mind, bring you into this happy place, this happy emotional state, which will be our object of meditation. And it's going to help collect the mind and unify it because a happy mind is no longer distracted outward. It's no longer looking here and there for all sorts of stimulation. It's happy right here. And whenever you need to call back up the feeling, you can go back to the memory just long enough to give you that happy feeling and then come back. If the feeling's not coming up for you, there will be other ways that we'll explore, so no worries. But I encourage you to smile. You can stay with your smile and that any joyful sensations that you feel in the body, if you feel even just a subtle relaxation or warmth in your hands, somewhere in your chest, and you can stay with that. It's good enough for now to bring the mind into this relaxed and joyful state. Now, sooner or later, the mind will get distracted. You might find it's off thinking about this or that. And that's perfectly normal. When you notice this, this is a chance to use what are called the four R's. The first R is to recognize. That step happens pretty much automatically. And this is what's called mindfulness. So your mind is off thinking about that, this or that, and all of a sudden you remember, oh yeah, I was meditating. That's right. That's the recognized step. And that muscle will get stronger as we keep training with the four R's. The next step is crucial. Instead of pulling your mind back to the happy feeling, take a moment to release. And the release step has two parts. The first is just not feeding the distraction anymore. You kind of no longer feed it your attention. You let your awareness expand back out because it was kind of contracted into a fist around the thought, the distraction, narrowed in. You became the thoughts. And also, the second part of the release step is physical. You might notice there's some tension. Most people notice it in their forehead or some part of the head. It might be in your neck or shoulders. You can notice anywhere you, where you've tightened a little bit. I'll talk later about why that happens, but this is part of what the mind does when it's distracted. See if you can soften, release that tension in your body. The third R is to relish. Now you enjoy. Enjoy that feeling of relaxation you've just let go of something the mind was that was making the mind a little bit tense and you can relish in that that subtle feeling of relief from letting go it'll get more obvious as you continue to practice and just take a moment to sink into that relish relish the letting go and then the fourth R is to remain. That means you just bring your awareness back to the happy feeling and you surf that happy feeling. 
Now we're retraining the mind to be happy, to be content. The four R's are like a mental bicep curl. And in a good meditation, you might do them dozens of times. That's a good thing. That means you're recognizing a lot when the mind is distracted. Recognize, release, relish, remain. Recognize the distraction, release your attention from it and any tension in your body. Relish in the peaceful feeling when it's gone or just from no longer being pulled into it. It might still, the thoughts might still be there. That's okay. You just relish in, in being free from them, from having your presence back. And the smile really helps with that step. You can notice if your smile is gone, that generally means that there was some tension that pulled you away, distraction. And now just remain with that happy feeling. You can bring back the memory if you need to, otherwise surf the feeling. Let it spread out. Let that feeling permeate your body in your entire field of awareness. Relax into it and enjoy. Beautiful. Well done. So that was just the start of a method that we'll be refining over the next month. And there's much more to say and add, but however you did for your first session, is perfectly okay. Whatever you realized about your mind, if there was confusion or doubts that came up with the method, I think we'll be clarifying all of that. And I encourage you also to comment with your experience or any questions. If you'd like to keep sitting, if you're feeling really good, I encourage you to keep sitting for another 20 minutes or so. And... If, if not, you can head over to the next video, the lesson, where we'll talk more about bringing the four R's into daily life, because this is really an all-the-time practice. And so thanks for taking the time to train your mind. This course is supported by the FitMind nonprofit, and see you here tomorrow for the next guided meditation. Thank you.